I think there's a big misconception in our industry that all SSDs are created equal, and that's just simply not the case, especially today. Companies like Kingston and other SSD manufacturers are really building SSDs for a particular purpose, for client notebook and desktop use, for server use, for video streaming applications. It's really important today to select the right SSD for the application it's going to be used in. You can't take an SSD out of a laptop and expect it to operate in a data center. That's like expecting a standard car engine to power a semi-truck. Data centers need drives that are enterprise-grade and purpose-built to deliver predictable performance at scale. SSDs are used in more applications in the data center than ever before. SSDs are shifting into more high-performance applications, and that's where performance consistency becomes important. So today's data center customer is very sophisticated when it comes to SSD performance. Customers today are expecting us to deliver SSDs that provide consistent I.O. and ultra-low latency. So at Kingston, we spend a lot of time in the development of an enterprise SSD to ensure that the performance profile of the SSD is delivering on what the customer is expecting. A drive that is not properly tuned may experience big swings in performance. At one point, the drive may perform 50,000 IOPS, and then it drops to 20,000 IOPS before bouncing back up to 60,000 IOPS. While the high numbers look excellent for a spec sheet and sales literature, spikes don't tell the whole performance story. It's important when you're testing SSDs for an enterprise application, you're focusing more on performance consistency as opposed to trying to hit peak levels of performance that look good on a data sheet. It's also important for the end customer as to what they experience at the application level. Consistency ensures that customers aren't disappointed by the lack of performance and have a predictable advantage for managing their storage clusters. A lot of what makes this straight line and the consistency happen goes into the SSD firmware design, the size of the over-provision area, and the right cache size. Latency acts in the same way as I.O. For example, if the latency is cruising along at sub 5 milliseconds and then jumps up to 500 milliseconds before coming back down to 5 milliseconds, there is a problem as this performance inconsistency could show up in the application somewhere. So data center customers and storage architects today are much more sophisticated when it comes to testing enterprise SSDs. Customers today have written their own test scripts to profile the SSD that they're going to select. So in order to deliver on the expectations of the data center customer, Kingston employs large DRAM caches on our enterprise SSDs, and more importantly, we have firmware that is tuned to deliver I.O. consistency and low latency. PCIe is a great interface for SSDs, but many servers are limited today in their capacity and sheer number of available lanes. The simple fact is that people can't turn that switch overnight to migrate to NVMe. It's important when you're choosing an enterprise SSD that you're selecting an SSD that was built for enterprise workloads, designed to deliver I.O. consistency, and deliver on the endurance expectation of the application. Lastly, the customer has to consider if their infrastructure is ready to utilize the newer, faster storage interfaces. SSDs matter, and the selection customers make for their data centers is becoming increasingly critical. So when looking for the right SSD, remember to look to Kingston. Kingston is with you. <laughs>